Well, Detroit Lions fans, and as we go into perhaps the last game of our 2023 NFL season, the injury designation for Sunday's game against the LA Rams is out. And we got some news that we kind of expected, some news that we saw coming, and some news that I have been talking about for the last three and a half months. Let's get into it. Coming from the Detroit Lions Twitter account maybe an hour or so ago, here is the injury designation for Sunday's game. Jerry Jacobs is out. He has been placed on J- uh, on IR. James Houston is out as well. Done. Out. Perhaps done for the season if we don't win another game. James Mitchell is out. Khalif Raymond is out. John Kaminsky questionable and Sam Laporta questionable. He did practice today. I saw some uh, Twitter accounts that actually showed video of him out there with a RoboCop knee brace on. Looks like the suit from RoboCop, if you ask me. This right here, though, this kind of came out of nowhere. Sad to see Khalif out. We're going to need his speed, but we're not going to have it. And Dan Campbell said he was a little further off. Laporta is a big deal. Just him being out here, out there as a potential distraction, that's a big deal. But this right here is the highlight of the day in a negative way. Listen, I have been saying for months that James Houston probably wouldn't come back. And you you have heard other people on this platform tell you that he's going to come back and he's going to do this and he's going to do that. Now, I'm going to say this because I just I'm not in the mood today to deal with any of this stuff. I'm going to say this. I'm not going to criticize the Detroit Lions. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm not going to do any of that. This we're in the playoffs and this is the end of the road. It's either win or go home. Because guess what? If they don't win this game, and depending on what happens with this game, from Jared Goff to the pass rush to Aaron Glenn to Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, we got a whole, a whole offseason. And believe you me, I got a whole offseason to dive into and rip this team apart. That's, what's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to give you fluff. I'm not going to give you what you want to hear. Now, we have managed to win games with no pass rush. I don't know how we wound up with more sacks than we had last year. By three, we had 41 this year, 38 last year. Aiden Hutchinson got two more sacks than he had last year. So I guess that's how. And you give Bruce Irvin one. So if you give Aiden Hutchinson two more sacks than he had last year and Bruce Irvin one, there's your three sacks. I know that you guys are like, the, the, the Lions, man, even when they do good. Uh, the, 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 oh, the, the, see the, the. No, no, man. I don't come out here. C.J. Gardner-Johnson said it the best. He said, they didn't bring me here to win no playoffs. They brought me here to win a Super Bowl. And we, listen, the, the, the problem that I have, and you might be, like I said, I'm not trying to be negative. I spent my money to go to this game. I'm going to embrace the uh, double-digit temperatures. Like, it's going to be at game time 12 degrees with the windshield factor of I don't even know what, okay? And I'm parking a mile away from the stadium. So I'm going to go and I'm going to cheer my team and I'm going to boo Matthew Stafford to death. But at the same time, this has been there. This has been there. I'm not trying to be negative. I've never tried to be negative. I've always been as real. And James Houston not playing. This is the end. This is the end. If we win this game, we might see him next week. At this point, I would just prefer. It's like, it's like Dan Campbell had us hanging. This guy had us hanging for like two months. He's he's here. He's close. He's getting there. We're going to open his 21-day window. This is what this means. This means that if, if we win, when we win this game, because there's I, I have the utmost faith that the Detroit Lions are going to, they're going to win this game. It's too much on the line. that We cannot lose this game. When we win this game, James Houston has to play next, next week because his 21-day window was started before the playoffs began, and I don't think it carries over, Like meaning you don't get a fresh reboot. You have to play. They have to decide what they're going to do with him. So we didn't see him this week. I'm surprised. I mean, James Houston must not be. I mean, how can you be close but yet so far? Like, seriously. So, listen. The fact that we have 41 sacks, don't let 41 versus 38 last year fool you. The Baltimore Ravens have 60. The Philadelphia Eagles had 70 last year. You know who's second in sacks? The Kansas City Chiefs with 57. 
Last year, the two teams with the highest sack total wound up in the Super Bowl. It's not a coincidence. I saw yesterday, I was watching an ESPN show, and somebody said what I've been saying forever. Sacks win games. Maybe you guys will get that. Sacks win games. And again, I'm not going to bash Brad Holmes because guess what? I got all offseason to do that. And you better believe that he is the first target in the offseason. There is no excuse. The first priority, Amon Ross St. Brown. The second priority is Jared Goff, a.k.a. taking care of the guys that, that are in our house. The third priority is to get a pass rush. And if you don't do it in free agency, and I know his hands are tied. I know he can only do so much. He can't control whether they tag Josh Allen, Daniil Hunter, Brian Burns. All the dogs can be tagged. I get that. I get that. That means we're going to have to do it in a draft. And I swear, if he trades up for a wide receiver, if he drives an offensive lineman, if he does anything else but defensive end, I'm coming for him. That's how that's going to be. There's no reason. There's no reason we should. We don't have a pass rush. At all. At all. So this is me trying to be glass half full because this there is no uh, th this is the end of the road. There's nothing else after this. Zero. Zero. We let Bruce Irving go. We let Isaiah Bugs go. Now we've won games since they've been gone, but this is not a game. This is the game. This is the game. We let both Justin Houston and Bruce Irving go to Miami to the Miami Dolphins. Like I like I told y'all during the season, man. I I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to be that guy, but I am going to be that guy. I'm going to be happy for the next 48 hours because there there's what are we going to complain about? This is it. This is it. This is it. So let me know how you feel in the comments below. We're going we're gonna to miss Khalif Raymond. Stafford is a guy you can't play with. You have to get him to the ground. You have to get him, get him to the ground. You have to get him to the gr ground with four. And we're going to hope that our four, Josh Pascoe, all those guys coming alive, we need them now. I didn't have as much faith in James Houston as you do, especially coming. And next week, I don't have any as well. But he's better than nothing. So anyway, let me know in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're going to give not this line away, the one that used to sit here. So I got a question yesterday. How do you know if you're a public subscriber? So YouTube has a thing when I'm going through my comments. OK, it'll tell me who's a public subscriber and how do you become a public subscriber? A public subscriber simply means that your subscriptions are public. So let's say you subscribe to me. Right. If somebody wanted to go to your channel and they, they could see who you are subscribed to, the way that you fix that, you have to go into your settings and you have to make your subscriptions public. Now, the reason that I need your subscriptions to be public for you to be part of this giveaway is because if they're not public, I can't tell if you're a subscriber. That's the only way I can tell. So you do not have to change them. OK, you can leave them where they are. You could temporarily change them. Or you can, if they're already public, and YouTube will tell me, it says public subscriber. It'll tell me uh, there's a tab. I can see them, right? So that's the only way. It's it, So if you want to be in the giveaway, that's the only way that you can you can be. You have to be a public a, a public subscriber at least for the time that I'm giving away the the item, the lion. So let me know your com your thoughts in the comments below. James Houston, I know all y'all thought he was going to be back. I, I know you did. You've been talking about him for the last two months. And James Houston, his season is essentially over because it's either we we win and go, we win, or we go home. And if we win, then if I'm not mistaken, they have to they have to put him in the game. They have to make a, a designation for him. They have to elevate him. So here's the key: we put Jerry Jacobs on injured reserve. Who's coming up? Th those des designations will come tomorrow. So we'll find out what transactions will be made. I would, I would have to believe that Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes have something in mind. Something in mind. It could be Maurice Alexander. I don't know. Because Khal Khalif Raymond is out. So I don't know. It, it's, it's like this. And this, this video is going longer than I'm just rambling at this point. But it, we need we need a pass rush. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Trust me, I'm happy. I'm ha This is me happy. I'm just like, you know, 
I hear in the comment section, like, you've never played ball. And I'm like, that doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. That doesn't mean that I can't see the flaws on this team. And our pass rush is a flaw. And now it's time to address it. You have, Brad has no choice. He has no choice. Because not having a pass rush will only get you so far. Remember what I said. The Ravens and the Chiefs have the two most sacks in the NFL right now going into the playoffs. I wouldn't be surprised if those two teams end up in the Super Bowl.